Forgive me if I have to go on a little rant here, but hey, I'm not talking about the iPhone 8, so be happy. I am very, very grateful that I am not a Microsoft sheep right now. They've been unveiling all kinds of new stuff over the past couple weeks, and frankly, I found all of it very disappointing. So first off, we thought we were getting a standalone laptop that was just a Surface Book refresh. Wouldn't be a detachable, it would be its own lineup that would be pro features with pro specs, and that would be the main appeal. Also, USB-C, because there were even leaks that showed the Surface laptop sporting USB-C because that is the last port. It's Thunderbolt 3. You can have massive amounts of data transferred through there as well as high resolution external monitors. It's a great port and I don't think anyone who hates on the new MacBook Pros thinks that it shouldn't have USB-C. They just wanted more options. I thought Microsoft could have had a good one up on Apple if they included primarily USB-C ports but still included things like MagSafe and the traditional USB port and they didn't take advantage of that. Instead they just have three ports and they're all traditional. None of them are current. Meaning you can only have one external monitor monitor and like a thumb drive to plug into unless you spend $200 on the Surface Dock. So all the better to you. But I overall found that Surface laptop pretty disappointing. It is a very beautiful laptop. I won't lie like that fabric looks cool. But then again, it's not very functional if you've seen what has happened to fabric keyboards in the past because your hands get sweaty and your hands are dirty. You're going to be putting them on basically a washcloth all the time. It leaves marks. That fabric keyboard does not age very well. And I found the specifications of the Surface laptop not really being premium or top notch. Like the bare minimum is $1,000 for the laptop and you get four gigs of RAM. That's kind of low. Now, before everyone starts writing angry comments about how, well, the 12 inch MacBook is more than that. MacBooks have never been about specs. Listen, the reason MacBooks are expensive is because of the premium hardware as well as the integrated software. You cannot get Mac OS anywhere else on any other model. You can only get it directly on Apple on a MacBook. And yet when they price a Surface laptop at the same price as a MacBook, I don't understand because Windows 10 is the opposite of exclusive. Microsoft puts Windows 10 on devices that didn't ask for it. You could go to sleep one night and wake up and find your computer with Windows 10. You literally have hundreds, maybe thousands of hardware developers making laptops and desktops running Windows 10. So what's software exclusive about the Surface laptop? Oh yeah, Windows 10 S. So when you want to design an operating system built around education, you give it the prefix S because that's what Apple does with their smartphones. Except when Apple does it, it means speed and I thought maybe because it's education S standard for student but no apparently it stands for soul because it is the soul of when I don't get it Windows 10 S means that if you're in education you have very close borders on what you can do on a device you can only install apps from the Windows Store this means no steam and keep in mind I don't think they're going to add steam to the Windows Store because a lot of what steam does is install external software onto your computer and that would kind of be outside of Microsoft's reach to no longer be able to verify every single game you want to put on your laptop. This confuses me because I think the primary reason most people like Windows 10 is typically for gaming. That's the main appeal. See, there's very few times I've heard people say they prefer Windows because they prefer Microsoft Office because you can literally use Microsoft Office on iOS, Mac OS, even Android. So it's not like Microsoft's productivity apps are exclusive to Windows 10. That's never really been the case. And the more confusing part was Microsoft said that the Surface laptop was meant to be used for education. Yeah, look, Microsoft, no one's interested in buying your laptop if it's $1,000. They're still going to go with the Chromebook. It's $200, sometimes less. That is the primary reason Chromebooks are doing so well is because they are so cheap. You can buy a classroom set typically with no issue in most school districts. Now, no one's going to buy a classroom set of Surface laptops because that means spending $30,000 on one class. So if the Surface laptop is meant to go for college students, wouldn't they rather go with something like an iPad or even a Surface? Surface Pro. Those are cheaper. They would still run Windows 10 and they wouldn't necessarily run Windows 10 S so they could actually put games on the Surface Pro. Steam games, not just the crappy Windows Store ones, which you know is like Asphalt and Minecraft. Yeah, great gaming community. Windows 10 S locks you out of more things Mac OS does. That's kind of saying something. You can't change your default web browser. It has to be Microsoft Edge and you can't make Google your default search engine. You have to use Bing and a lot of people are going to hate that right out the door. Now luckily for the first year you have Windows 10 S you have a free option of upgrading it to Windows 10 Pro because of course we know that the first thing all college students want to do when they buy their new laptop apart from updating it a thousand times with Windows updates is reinstalling the entire operating system itself because it ships with a crappy one you know I think that S in Windows 10 S could stand for something else four letter word starts with an S and it ends with a T. It's SCAT! Windows 10 SCAT! Is in like bullcrap? You know, okay. Now I haven't even started on the new Surface Pro, which I still get questions about daily. 
Lee. What do you think of it? Why do we keep putting cellular in tablets? Use your phone's hotspot. It's not that hard. You don't have to pay more on your data plan. To add cellular to these things makes the battery life lower and you have to pay more on your cell plan. Now I get that the big appeal on the new Surface Pro is that the battery life is longer. Keep in mind there's that little asterisk that says 13 and a half hours of video playback. That is quite literally the lowest amount of power you can have on any device and Windows 10's battery life variates heavily on what you're doing. So at the end of the day, I don't think battery life is going to be substantially better. It's just a little bit better. And they wanted to redesign the Surface Pen because it wasn't good enough. So now they have, it costs $100 and it's not included with the Surface Pro anymore. That's fun. And there was actually minor design changes to the new Surface Pro. Apparently they were so minor, Microsoft decided not to give it a new number, the Pro 5. Why can no one make product lines that don't make sense anymore? See, so you got Galaxy skipping the Note 6. You don't even know what the iPhone edition is going to be called. That's still a wild card. Apple calling things MacBook and MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. You were doing one thing right, Microsoft. You could count. Now you're screwing that up. Now in marketing, they're even listing the Surface Pro as the most versatile laptop. Okay, so it's a laptop that just doesn't ship with a keyboard or trackpad. Gotta spend another 130 bucks on that. So while it may be $800 starting, if you want to use all these great features, which I kind of think trying to use a Surface Pro without a keyboard and mouse is ridiculous. I tried to do it before and it does not go well just to use tablet mode. So essentially you're gonna be spending $900 to $1,000 on all the features they're trying to advertise it with. And again, I just don't understand Microsoft's hate for USB-C. That is the port of the future and they're very focused on having MagSafe, but I don't understand why you can't have MagSafe and the greatest port we have currently. Give us users a couple more options, please. I'm only asking that because it's Microsoft and Microsoft is all about options. If we were talking about MacBooks and iPads, the story would be completely different because Apple is about perfecting things, not providing options. The most exciting thing I think Microsoft has going for it right now is the constant teasing of Xbox Scorpio. I'm really excited to see a console that is actually as powerful as a gaming PC. I think that's changing the game a little bit and I'm very curious about it. But other than that, I am just so glad I am not part of that ecosystem because because it is embarrassing what they're doing right now. So I probably pissed off a bunch of you. Go ahead and rant in the comments below. And I'm sure we'll have a very civil argument where we can learn a lot about each other. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.